Hi everybody. Hello friends. Good morning. So today it's a short one. Good morning from my bed. Yeah, today is a short one and we have this book right here because um it's bed series today. I'm not sure if you'd like to see my face, but it's not that great. It's not great, it's not great, it's not great, it's not great. Anyway, yeah, it's bed series today. And um so the thing here is, I used to be like an avid reader. Yeah, lost a nail, lost a nail. I used to be an avid reader, and for some reason, I stopped reading. For some unknown reason, I stopped reading. I actually know why I stopped reading. Yeah, I stopped reading when I started uni, when uh, reading became uh, a bit of a like it was it was a chore. And it was like tough, not tough, I don't know, like it became very boring because it was a chore now, it was very, very boring to do. And, you know, I had to read to pass. Obviously, if you don't read, you're not going to pass. Like I had to study hard to get good grades in uni. So like it was a bit of a chore for me and I just couldn't do it anymore. Not like I couldn't do it. Obviously, I did read my books, I did study and I did get my good grades, but <laughs> I did get my good grades. But yeah. I did get good grades and but what happened with me and my reading habit is that I used to read everything I used to read everything every single thing like you 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 would never catch me not reading do you understand like you'd never catch me not reading but then with um being in uni and just having to read like now it was a duty it was a chore to do like I needed to read it sucked the whole fun out of reading interesting stuff for me because I couldn't really read other stuff knowing that I had uni books to read, if you know what I mean. I, like, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one that this happens to or this has happened to. So I'm going back to reading and I'm putting it out here again just so that I make sure I do it so that I have, I hold myself accountable. Yeah. And I'm going to start with this book right here. I'm starting with this book because I want to read this. I've never read this, Pride and Prejudice. Everyone has read, everybody I know has read Pride and Prejudice. Um, I think I'm late to the party with that. So, yeah, I'm starting with this book because I want to read Pride and Prejudice. But luckily, I have this book. It's not mine, it's my man's book. Where... um. Um, there is all of Jane Austen, not all, seven. Is it all? Let's see what it says. Seven, the complete novels of Jane Austen. Yeah, so all of Jane Austen's novels are here, seven. Wow, did she just write only seven books? Anyway, yeah. I have this book where there is the complete Jane Austen and I'm going to start with Pride and Prejudice. I'm not sure if I'm going to read any other one from Jane Austen after Pride and Prejudice, but she's a good writer, so why not? So we might read Pride and Prejudice and then read the rest of her books or just read Pride and Prejudice and then find other books to read. There is a book by our bedside that my man is reading. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick an interest in this, but yeah, we have... <laughs> That's what we do. We leave our books by our bedside. Yeah. So, yeah. He's reading this and I asked him what it's about and he said it was something about um, World War. It was about war, I don't know. But, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm... I don't think I'll have interest in this sort of thing. But, yeah. There is this book. And there is this one. I have other books in the study. Yeah. My laptop is there. I'm watching YouTube. Anyway, yeah, I have other books in the study that... Some I've read, some I haven't read. But yes, anyway, the point of this video is to say that I'm going back to reading, putting it out here. If you find it, you find it. Anyway, also, how many times have I said anyway today? Also, another part of this uh, channel is about to be um, talking about books that I've read. So what have I read? I'm not sure how frequently, how frequently that's going to come or the frequency of that or how frequently. Uh, I'm not sure how often that will be, but uh, I think every month, once a month, that enough to read a whole book. 
how lazy can you be to be reading a whole book for once a month anyway yeah i'm getting back into the habit i just said anyway again yeah i'm getting back into the habit of reading so it might be like it might be a bit of an uphill task trying to break in i don't know don't know let's see how it goes so we have pride and prejudice that's where we're going to start from pride and prejudice and i don't know we'll start from pride and prejudice and see how we get on with it tomorrow is valentine's day <laughs> i have a plan i'm not sure if i'll i don't know maybe maybe not don't hold me to this um so tomorrow i'm thinking i want to i want to do a nice video because i saw no we'll see what happens we'll see what happens Bye, guys.